Hi, I'm Jeff King. Uh, today I'm looking at some cueing patterns and practices. Um, I just want to get into what a, why you would want to load level and use the load leveling pattern um, and use a, a cue to do that. Um, so the big thing that we see on the internet is uh, really spiky traffic. Um, and so, I mean, you can pick whatever time frame you want here, uh, but what you're seeing is that uh, at a certain point, uh, you'll have like very high volumes of traffic coming to your site. Um, versus other times, you have you know near zero or very low amount comparative to, to what you see um, at the high end. Um, so what that means to your to your web server uh, or your your data tier even is that it needs to handle uh, these spikes um, as they come in. And so typically, when we're talking about like cloud architecture, uh, and we're really talking about uh, what we call here over provisioning, right? So you're provisioning. Um, servers or resources to meet the maximum uh, potential scale that you need. So that would be like a scale target, right? Um, so the reason why this isn't great is on, on a tier like a database tier, um, this will become um, fairly expensive in terms of like a ratio to your entire solution, uh, needing to be on a fairly, let's say, premium uh, price point just due to the spikiness. Um, but by using uh, a queue in the middle, what we can do, um, what we call load leveling. Um, so basically the data flow is coming through your system, you're, you're inserting it into a queue, and then later on uh, you're inserting it into the database. So le the load leveling part of that is, is that we can't dictate uh, the frequency that messages are added to the queue, but we can dictate the rate that messages are dequeued and inserted into the database. So if we take a very spiky traffic and then we load level it, uh, we can like average that out over time to meet kind of the middle bar, let's say, of your traffic. So we're taking off all those peaks and we can take off all those valleys and we can do a steady stream of uh, inserts or updates on your database. So this going from, let's say this is like 100 transactions per second, and this is like one transaction per second. On the load level, we can average out the 50 transactions per second, and then we just worry that the database can handle this 50. It doesn't need to worry about the 100, and obviously anything below 50 will be safe. I hope that makes sense. Uh, please leave comments below. Thank you.